Today we celebrate the feast of our heavenly patron, St. Paul and Saints. It's fitting that we might uh, just give a little thought of uh, something else of our patron. When the congregation of the missionaries of St. John of was uh, instituted, Bishop Ray, who gave the first assent to the congregation, told our founder, Father Peter Nehemiah, in 1838. A lot of people might have misunderstood. St. John of did not found our congregation, it was founded by Father Peter Nehemiah after. They belong to two different centuries. St. Francis was born in 1567 and our congregation was founded by Father Peter Nehemiah in 1838. So when Father Peter Nehemiah, which is, uh, he was a licensed priest, Father Peter Nehemiah was a licensed priest, and when the Bishop of Annecy, Bishop Ray, gave uh, approval to the congregation, he told Father Peter Lady Mamiya three things. He said, study a St. Francis of the Saints, imitate his virtues, and follow his uh, method of teaching. That was uh, uh, you know, uh, his uh, insight for the qualification. Ever since the missionaries of St. Francis of the Saints, we all of us are called to, expected to, Imitate the virtues of St. Father the Saints, all of his method of teaching. And Tarbatis, uh, from the introduction of the Bible life, uh, one of the spiritual classes of St. Father the Saints, uh, shared with you the three uh, the simple virtues which we call it humility, simplicity, and gentleness. And in fact, these are the four virtues. Jesus imitated, rather exemplified in his life. St. Father said, started the qualification of the sisters of the visitation. And when he was in on his deathbed, almost dying, the sisters then asked St. Father says, What is your last advice to us? And so he asked for the paper. And he wrote on the, uh, on the paper three words. He said, he wrote like this humility, humility, humility. Humility is the queen of virtues. Jesus, in his whole life, he exemplified and lived the virtue of humility. And that's what St. Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, he says. Although he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and became one like us, even dying on the cross. And so uh, we as members of uh, St. Father the Saints and also as we imitate the virtue, this is something that we can uh, imitate in our own lives, practice the virtue of humility. You will never be lost. And uh, many people have said that they are like, so many saints in heaven and with a lot of faults, but with the virtue of humility, and there are so many people in hell with so many virtues, but without humility. So the key to enter heaven is to hold on to the virtue of humility. And the best thing we can participate in this Eucharist, let's ask for the part of this place that we may imitate this key virtue of this in Father the Saints for us to uh, practice in our lives. Humility, simplicity, and gentleness. You know what, there is a, one more thing that, uh, that was in my mind that I want to share you was basically Second Vatican Council talked about the universal for the holiness. Universal for the holiness is Everyone, every background is all to holiness. You know, until the second of the day, the feeling was, Pope's 
bishops, priests, religious, uh, who come in there is very uh, close to the quality of Christ, are only, only people of uh, you know, people who call the holiness. But I think already, you know, three, four, seven, three, four centuries before Second Empire comes, St. Francis talked about universal call to holiness, which means every baptized, every one in the world is called to holiness. That means no matter what is the state of life, we are all called to share that kingly, priestly, prophetic mission of life and experience the goodness of God. And for let's continue to pray that each one of us in our turn may grow in his virtues and also particularly grow in holiness as we heard in the gospel. The love of God must become part of our hearts and that she share it with everyone that we need. Let's continue to ask what we need us and make effort from our hearts to Thank you. 